What's the story everyone? If you're new to my channel, which you probably are, I'm Mike. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I'm going to be going through my favourite powder eyeshadows by MAC Cosmetics. What eyeshadows I love and I can't live without and I would recommend to absolutely anyone. So if you want to find out more about this, then keep on watching. I'm feeling my denim fantasy at the moment, but let's talk about eyeshadows. MAC Cosmetics Powder eyeshadows are probably my favorite eyeshadows out there. Why? Because I find them reliable. Those are the eyeshadows that every makeup artist or person that has started in makeup very early knows the best. Eyeshadows that have been iconic for quite some time. So with every powder eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics, you get 1.3 grams of product. And when it comes to MAC eyeshadows, I find them more on the dry side, their creamier side. And because MAC Cosmetics were made for professional makeup artists, they're more of a buildable eyeshadow than an extreme pigment payoff at once. So I wouldn't really swatch eyeshadows as such, but they are definitely more of a working eyeshadows that you can apply to your lid and work really well. So what do I love about MAC eyeshadows? First of all, I store all my MAC eyeshadows in this old thing, which is a MAC Cosmetics Pro palette. So this is a palette then, and if you open it, we get spaces for our eyeshadows. So this is a pro palette. So what that means is you can buy just the actual pots, and I'm not referring to like pots in your kitchen, like eyeshadow pots, which would be like this. And you can literally just pop them in and store your favorite eyeshadows in it. I find this rather helpful and handy because you don't have to buy a full palette of 37 shades that you're only gonna use two. You can really pick the shades that you're really gonna use. So this is a palette that I reach out for every single time. As you can see, it's very dirty because it has been used. And it's a very old palette. It's about 10 years old. So they have a better, better and newer packaging at the moment. But you know what? It works, it's perfect. So why should I throw it out and get a new one? Overall, I'm gonna present you with 12 eyeshadows by MAC Cosmetics that I absolutely adore and I use all the time. And you know what, those are the eyeshadows that I wear all the time that I would use on people if I'm doing their makeup and eyeshadows that work with in each other. Right, so with no further ado, let's get into it. And the first powder eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics that I would recommend is Carbon. So as you can see, I've hit a pan on this eyeshadow quite a lot. And if some of you may not know, and probably you may not know, I had my emo days and black eyeshadow was my Thing. And when it comes to black eyeshadows, it's a very, very pigmented black eyeshadow. And when it comes to black eyeshadows, it's very hard to make a decent black eyeshadow. So I found this eyeshadow probably one of the best. It blends out and works really well. But like that, with any black eyeshadow, it's not one of those things that you pop on your lid and it's black straight away. You still have to layer the product on top just to get the deepness. But I very much use this eyeshadow for underneath, for darken now my smoky eye. And when I was 14, I would just smudge all over my lid and feel my emo fantasy. But when it comes to carbon, I absolutely adore it. And it's probably one of my favorite black eyeshadows. My second favorite, well, I'm not going one to five, but the next favorite eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics that I absolutely adore and I find brilliant is Brulee. So this is your kind of creamy beige eyeshadow. It's absolutely brilliant as a transition shade. It's lovely on the lid. It's lovely underneath the eyebrow. And it's one of those eyeshadows that you can really map out the shape you want to create and then put your tones about it. So it is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely fantastic eyeshadow. For someone with very pale skin tone, this is a lovely eyeshadow just to give it more of a color wash through it than anything. So now, if you're looking for something just to really sketch out the eye, a nice light transition in shade, this eyeshadow is perfect for you. The next MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow that I absolutely adore is Nylon. So this is your pearly, shimmery gold eyeshadow and this is absolutely stunning on every eye color. It's perfect for highlighting your inner corner of your eye, underneath your eyebrows. It's absolutely stunning as a highlight. And when it comes to the pigmentation, this is rather creamy, but as you can see, it is very, very creamy. I'm not really a big fan of creamy eyeshadow, but when it comes to this one, it's just perfect, even to do like a spotlight to the middle of your eye, so you can intermix brulee and this, and it will be absolutely beautiful. My next favorite eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics is Omega. And when it comes to Omega, this is soft, muted, taupe color, and I absolutely adore it. 
it's lovely on the lid it's lovely as a transitioning shade it's lovely to blend out the color it's absolutely stunning i love it on all skin tones i love it on my eyes it's lovely for green or blue eyes as well it will really really bring out color and this shade is just stunning you can use it on your eyebrows it's perfect as a contour it is very similar nearly to harmony slightly bit lighter but it's absolutely stunning. This eyeshadow is a must have in anyone's kit. The next eyeshadow I love, and I, when I say I love, I love this eyeshadow, is the sister to Omega. And this eyeshadow is Wedge. This is, oh. When I say I use this eyeshadow nearly every single time, I mean it. This is a holy grail. So it is slightly deeper than your Omega, slightly darker. It is beautiful on all, all skin tones and eye colors. And what I love using this eyeshadow is for, I usually use it on my lid, so I'm wearing it on the lid at the moment. It's lovely as a transitioning shade. It's lovely on its own. This eyeshadow just buffs out and blends out absolutely stunning. It is perfect for someone that's just looking for a quick look and literally pop that eyeshadow on and it will blend out absolutely stunning, giving you that nice soft result. It's also perfect for contouring and I absolutely adore this eyeshadow. I've nearly used it on my lid every single time. I just absolutely love it. Now we're gonna move on to slice something slightly bit warmer and richer. And my next favorite MAC eyeshadow is Texture, which is your peachy brown with slight bit of shimmer. And Texture is an absolutely stunning color. It's lovely on all skin tones. It's lovely on all eye colors. I love it with blue and green eyes especially. And especially with green eyes. Cause oh, when you have green eyes, anything that's warm will really bring them out. And same with blue, but I find with green eyes, if you're going with something a bit more peachy and coppery, it looks absolutely stunning. And this eyeshadow, what I would use this for is really just work it on your lid. It's absolutely stunning on your lid or just add a bit of shimmer in your inner corner. Another eyeshadow that, that is from the same family you could say as texture is Saddle. This is your kind of goldeny, orangey brown and it's absolutely stunning on blue and green eyes. Because as you know, orange works really well with blue and green and it will just make your eyes pop. So I would use this eyeshadow as a transition shade. Loads of people are afraid to use it as a transition shade, but I find it absolutely lovely. Just on your lid, buff it out, and then go in with your next color. Like loads of people would use Omega or Wedge as a transition shade, but Saddle is a very, very good alternative. Moving on to more of your brown shades. And my next favorite powder MAC eyeshadow is Brown Dawn. And when it comes to Brown Dawn, it is very much your brown eyeshadow. It is absolutely stunning. It has nearly that berry brown color, if that makes sense. And it is lovely for your smoky eye. Do you know, if you're looking just to deepen the eye slightly, brown down is absolutely stunning. In your inner corner, you can apply it to the lid. It has many, many uses. Now, I probably wouldn't use that as a contour on my skin tone because it will be slight dark, but for medium skin tone, brown down, it will be absolutely stunning because it is more of your neutral, brown if that makes sense so for brown eyeshadow brown down is the way to go moving on probably my favorite brown eyeshadow if you could call it brown from mac cosmetics is swiss chocolate which is your kind of muted reddish brown eyeshadow and this color will look absolutely stunning for anyone with green eyes blue as well but when you've green eyes this color is just gonna bring that out. So sometimes what I like to do is go in with my brown down on the lid and then buff this out with Swiss chocolate just to give that nice warmth. Or even go with something like wedge and then go over with your Swiss chocolate on top of it. It's absolutely, absolutely stunning. This eyeshadow will just do magic for your eyes. It is your nice kind of warmy reddish brown. My third favorite brown MAC eyeshadow is Ember, which is more of an intense red brown so it would be slightly more intense than your swiss chocolate so what would it be really it would be a really nice combination between those two to really give you that nice kind of browny ready smoky eye and i love this eyeshadow as an in the corner or even deep in my swiss chocolate and it's absolutely absolutely stunning it is it is more of a darker eyeshadow so you really have to be careful with it but it blends out absolutely beautifully next mac eyeshadow i'm going to be talking about i wasn't really sure about when i got and loads of people were telling me, oh, you need it, you need it, it's absolutely stunning. I was like, oh, I don't know, there's too much shimmer to it. And that eyeshadow is Sketch. And Sketch is a very interesting color. It is your kind of burgundy, plummy, red eyeshadow, brownie with shimmer. 
there is a lot of tone to it. And when I seen the shimmer, I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if I want it. But for someone with green eyes, plums, burgundies, purples are absolutely stunning. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a go. And this goes absolutely lovely with a color like cranberry or blackberry, they're absolutely stunning together. But this one, even for a brown smoky eye, pop it in and blend it out and it's absolutely stunning. And the shimmer isn't too much. And you know what, if you're looking for a nice kind of burgundy color, this color is for you. My last favorite MAC eyeshadow I'm gonna be talking about is an eyeshadow I fell in love straight away. It's an eyeshadow that changed my life. And when I say changed my life, it changed my eye look forever. And that eyeshadow is Uninterrupted. So Uninterrupted is your burnt yellow brown. And you know what, this was recommended to me by a subscriber of mine. He said, listen Mike, you need this. It's gonna be absolutely stunning on your eyes. And me, as a consumer, I'm very easy. I'm like, if you say it's gonna be lovely, I'm just gonna buy it. So I did. And this color, oh my God. If I'm wearing blue contacts, it's absolutely stunning. If I've, if I've green eyes, is absolutely stunning. I used it on someone with brown eyes, it was absolutely stunning. It's perfect for all skin tones. And it just gives you that grungy, burnt result to your eyes. So I'm actually wearing it at the moment. I'm just wearing it on my crease. So what I done was I went with wedge on my lid and I blend it all out with uninterrupted. And I just love the grunginess of it and it just gives you a nice soft result and it blends out absolutely stunning. So if you're looking for more of that warmer, burnt brown color, Uninterrupted is for you. Anyways guys, I hope you found this film rather helpful and useful. I hope you learned something about powder MAC eyeshadows. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course you guys, Gormila Maggot Agaslan. Bye.